If you're seeking aid, leave your name with my girl. We serve everyone here. No one came from Ferelden without trouble. But I can't give priority to anyone who's already found work and lodging. I hear you know where I can find a Ferelden Grey Warden. Only Ferelden Grey Warden I've heard of slew the Archdemon to save us all. Fat lot they care here. We're out of the Blight's path now. Why would you need a Warden? The healer was one of them once, wasn't he? A Warden? Well, he's not now, and busy enough without answering fool questions about it. Who are you protecting? You see what our people face in Kirkwall. They have no jobs, no homes. Most can barely buy bread. This healer, he serves them without thought for coin. He's closed their wounds, delivered their children. And yet he needs to hide. He's a good man. I won't lose him to the blighted Templars. Your healer is in no danger from me. If this mage is an apostate, the Templars will find him. No mage should suffer for an accident of birth. I suppose it isn't my secret to keep. Anders has certainly been free enough with his services. Refugees in Darktown know, to find the healer, look for the lit lantern. If you have need enough, Anders will be within. this place a sanctum of healing and salvation. Why do you threaten it? I'm just here to talk. We're interested in getting into the deep roads. Rumor has it you were a warden. Do you know a way? Did the warden send you to bring me back? I'm not going. Those bastards made me get rid of my cat. Poor Sir Pounce a lot. He hated the deep roads. You had a cat named Sir Pouncelot in the Deep Road. He was a gift. A noble beast. Almost got ripped in half by a Genlock once. He swatted the bugger on the nose. Drew blood, too. The blighted warden said he made me too soft. I had to give him to a friend in Amaranthine. So you came to Kirkwall just to escape the wardens? You say that like it's a small thing. Yes. I'm here because there's no warden outpost, no darkspawn, and a whole host of refugees to blend in with. And some reasons of my own. I'm part of an expedition into the Deep Roads. Any information you have could save people's lives. I will die a happy man if I never think about the blighted deep roads again. You can't imagine what I've come through to get here. I'm not interested in... Although... A favor for a favor. Does that sound like a fair deal? You help me, I'll help you. Help my expedition reach the deep roads, and I'll do whatever you need. You don't ask for my terms. What if I were asking for the Knight Commander's head on a spike? Is that what you ask? You decide. I have a warden map of the depths in this area. But there's a price. I came to Kirkwall to aid a friend. A mage. A prisoner in the wretched gallows. The Templars learned of my plans to free him. Help me bring him safely past them, and you shall have your maps. Tell me about your friend. His name is Carl Fekler. He was sent here from Ferelden, when Kirkwall Circle required new talent. His last letter said the Knight Commander was turning the Circle into a prison. Mages are locked in their cell, refused appearances at court, made tranquil for the slightest crimes. 
I told him I would come. You've convinced me. What's your plan? I welcome your aid. I have already sent word for Carl to meet me in the Chantry tonight. Join us there, and we'll ensure that no matter who is with him, we all walk away free. I saw Carl go inside a few minutes ago. No Templars so far. Are you ready? I didn't see anyone suspicious out here. Let's do this fast. All right. I'll handle the talking. You watch for Templars. Anders, I know you too well. I knew you would never give up. What's wrong? Why are you talking like... I was too rebellious, like you. The Templars knew I had to be... made an example of. No! How else will mages ever master themselves? You'll understand, Anders. As soon as the Templars teach you to control yourself. This is the apostate. Take another mage as you took him! What did you do? It's like... You brought a piece of the Fade into this world. I had already forgotten what that feels like. I thought the Tranquil were cut off from the Fade forever. When you're Tranquil, you never think on your life before. But... It's like the Fade itself is inside, Anders. Burning like a sun. Please, kill me before I forget again. I don't know how you brought it back, but it's fading. Carl, no. Maybe we can find a cure. Can you cure a beheading? The dreams of tranquil mages are severed. There is nothing left of them to fix. I would rather die a mage than live as a Templar puppet. My sister calls being tranquil a fate worse than death. Give him peace. I got here too late. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm so sorry. Now! It's fading! Why do you look at me like that? Goodbye. We should leave before more Templars come. That wasn't normal magic you just did, was it? I... This is hard to explain. When I was in Amaranthine, I met a spirit of justice who was trapped outside the Fade. We became friends, and he recognized the injustice that mages in Thedas face every day. And that's different than a demon. Just as demons prey on the deadly sins of mankind, there are good spirits who embody our virtues. Spirits of compassion, fortitude, justice. They are the Maker's first children, and they have all but given up on us. This spirit sounds like a useful friend to have. He was far better to me than I have been to him. To live outside the Fade, he needed a host. I offered to help him. We were going to work together, bring justice to every child ever ripped away from his mother to be sent to the Circle. But... I guess I had too much anger. Once he was inside me, he... changed. So, you have this spirit of justice living in your head? It's not like that. He's gone now. He's part of me. It's not like we can have a conversation. I feel his thoughts as my own. 
Not even the greatest scholar could tell you where I end and he begins. This is obviously difficult for you. I thought I was helping my friend. He would have died, I guess. If that even means anything. And he wanted to help me. He knew what mages have suffered. You tried to help a friend. Surely no harm can come of that. I wish I still had your innocence. There was too much hatred in me. Justice thought he would overcome that. But my anger, when I see Templars now, things that have always outraged me, but I could never do anything about, he comes out. And he is no longer my friend, Justice. He is a force of vengeance, and he has no grasp of mercy. Is there anything I can do for you? You're the first one I've ever told this. Thank you for not running away. My maps are yours. As am I, if you wish me to join your expedition. I thought I was done with the Grey Wardens. But if you have any need of me, I will be waiting here. You owe us, Isabella. Well, Lucky, I'll tell you what. Since the information you gave me was worth nothing, that's what I'll pay you. Me and my boys will get our money's worth, bitch. Oh, you poor sweet thing. Tell me, Lucky, is this worth dying for? <laughs> I didn't think so. So, I've been dying to know. What was going through your head when you fought that ogre? I knew that whatever happened, I had to get the others to safety. And lots of people talk about nobility and selflessness, generally in the same stories that have magic beans. Somehow, Hawk, I imagine things won't be dull with you around. Not that I expect the deep roads to be boring, mind you. Constant threat of doom does tend to keep you awake. Anything in particular I should know about your brother? To understand Bartrand, you've got to understand the Dwarven Merchants Guild. These are dwarves who would sell their mothers if they thought it'd get them a better share of the Lyrium market. Anyone who deals with them has to sleep with a knife under their pillow. In my family, that's Bartrand. What are your plans for this trip into the Deep Roads? Bartrand's running the show. On Draste's ass, he'd probably do that even if we weren't paying for everything. The tide we're looking for is supposed to be a week's travel from the surface. So I hope you aren't scared of the dark. We've got supplies, muscle, excavators. The plan is to carry out everything that's not nailed down. If we'll be working together, I should find out more about you. True enough. I suppose you ought to know my credentials. My family came from Orzammar. Noble House Tethrys, until my father got caught fixing provings. He and our whole house got exiled. No huge loss. I was born up here. Sunshine suits me just fine. Are you a merchant? A mercenary? I'm a younger son. It's a difficult and dangerous profession. A lot of us die of boredom. Fortunately, being Bartrand's younger brother keeps me on my toes. Maker knows he lacks subtlety. I'm the one who pulls strings to keep the coterie out of our hair, keep us just a whisker ahead of the other families. What are the Deep Roads like? Well, I could tell you the standard tales. Legions of Darkspawn, ravenous beasts, cave-ins. I've spent my whole life in Kirkwall. Dangerous enough most days, but it doesn't compare to the Deep Roads. So? 
This will be... let's just call it an adventure, I guess. Great. Now we're adventurers. My. And here I thought the only men in this place were besotted fools who couldn't hoist the mainsail. You mean like the men you sent scrambling from the tavern? Exactly like them. Worthless twits. I'm Isabella. Previously Captain Isabella. Sadly, without my ship, the title rings a bit hollow. You're Ferelden, aren't you? You have that look about you. I was in Denerim not too long ago. You know, you might be just what I'm looking for to solve a little problem I have. I'm always ready to help. Someone from my past has been pestering me. I've arranged for a duel. If I win, he leaves me alone. But I don't trust him to play fair. I need someone to watch my back. Why a duel? <laughs> I like duels. It's what I do. And if I win, he'll be dead. Problem solved. What makes you think I'm right for this? You saw me talking to Lucky, didn't you? Those boys couldn't manage simple information gathering. I can't trust the riffraff in this place to do anything right. But you, you're different. I think I could manage watching your back. <laughs> I'll bet. I've arranged to meet Hader in Hightown after dark. I'll meet you there. Here you're having problems with the bone pit. I can help. Ah, finally someone comes to help me. You look a bit unseasoned, but I hope you'll do. I had to suspend operations. My workers are lost in the mines or have run off. Served me right for hiring Ferelden refugees. I sent others before, but no word. Perhaps they are putting me off. I need someone competent to figure out what is going on. Surely the miners had good reason to leave. I am at a loss. No miner has reported in, and no one takes me seriously. The bone pit must be dangerous if people are afraid to venture there. No, nothing like that. Pay no heed to local superstition. The bone pit is mostly harmless. I'll head there soon. The sooner the better. Each day the mine is not running costs me more than those miners make in a year. The bone pit is just outside the city. Any map will show it. What do you mean you can't help me? This is a domestic matter, Sirrah. If your wife has chosen to leave you, there's nothing we can do. Ninet is my wife. She's legally bound to me. Bring her back. We're done here. Useless. Why are we still paying those slugouts? Your wife is missing. I can try to find her if you like. Yes. Oh, I have been waiting for someone to say that. That foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. She needs to be dragged home. I can't imagine why she might run away. <sighs> yes, yes, my wife and I don't get along. But that's not the important thing. Her family is getting suspicious. They think I might have done something to her. Even if... Well, I just want to make sure they know I didn't do it. How long has your wife been gone? About a month. I wasn't worried at first. She's run off before. Ninette is uncontrollable, you see. She comes and goes as she pleases. I'll try my best to find Ninette and bring her home. You should talk to Jethan at the Blooming Rose. I didn't know she visited whores. Until Jethan sent a letter to our house. He even sent her flowers once. Lilies. Hmm? 
Her favorite. Ah! Talking about it makes my head hurt. Good luck to you, Serhan. Today's my rest day, but I'll make an exception for you. What can I say? Why work if you're not working hard? Jathan, have you seen Nanette lately? Nanette? Not for several weeks, which is a shame. I enjoy her company. I hear she finally left her worthless husband. Good for her. I just wish she'd said goodbye. Do you think Nanette has come to harm? I hope not. Everyone loves Nanette. Sometimes twice a night. <laughs> Ghislaine's the only one who might hurt her. And he doesn't have the balls for it. Ghislaine knew about you and Nanette. Did he talk to you? The man is incapable of talking. He came here, yelled at me, called me a dirty knife ear, among other things, and accused me of corrupting his wife. We had him thrown out. Do you have any idea where she might be? Well, uh, there was someone else looking for Nanette. A Templar. I believe his name was Emmerich. He wouldn't sleep with me either. I can't see why a Templar would be interested in anyone who isn't a mage. Perhaps Emmerich knows something we don't. Emmerich said he'd continue his investigation in Darktown. You could see if he's still there. And if you find Nanette, tell her to drop by and see me sometime. I thank you, Sirrah, for coming along when you did. I am Emmerich. Just the person I was looking for. I need to speak with you about Nanette. Ah, Ghislaine de Karak's wife. Her disappearance interested me. I tried looking into it. However, the investigation has been a waste of time. Did you learn nothing? Most people just say she left her husband. This all started when Meren, one of our circle mages, disappeared. I found it odd. She was a bit older and hardly adventurous. Then I heard about Ninette and two other missing women. <laughs> I had a friend who disappeared once. Turns out he was under my bed, drunk. What? I think the disappearances are connected, and I suspect foul play is involved. Mages routinely flee the circle. Perhaps Marin just wanted freedom. She had always been loyal. She received lilies from an unknown suitor, and some of us thought she may have gone to meet him. Perhaps her disappearance is linked. Can I assist your investigation? It's no longer my investigation, Sirrah. You may take over if you wish. This battle showed that I'm no longer the warrior I used to be. I know when to walk away. Here, take my findings. Perhaps you can make more use of them. I'm going back to the gallows. I'm too old for this. Ah! Ah! Get back! Ah! Ooh! 
don't think I can do that. Bring the ring to Gislaine. It might belong to Nanette. I've heard about the circle of magi outside of the Imperium, but I've never been in one. Are you certain it's wise for us to come here, considering who we're with? Maybe not, but we'll be cautious. This seems more like a prison. I wonder if it's more effective than the circle I know. How is the Imperial Circle of Magi different? Once upon a time, it was as it is here. The Chantry watched the Magisters closely for any signs of corruption or weakness. Then it changed. The Magisters were permitted to watch over their own, and Templars kept only to enforce the law. What happened next was inevitable. The Magisters rule again, as powerful as they ever were. What the Circle does here is better than the alternative. An alternative I am very familiar with. Alternatives are so wonderful for those who have choices. Freedom is a noble ideal, but I see no oppression here. I see fear and danger. But enough. I'm sure we came here for a reason. You might want to see this. This was left in the foundry you mentioned in your notes. I was also attacked by Shades. These are human bones. Then there is no chance of finding Meren alive, or any of the others. I saw someone leaving the scene, but they got away. I'm sorry. It was more than I accomplished. I will bring this to the city guard immediately. It should be enough to convince them the disappearances are worth investigating. This ring is all I have to return to you. I'm sorry. Oh. Ninette's wedding ring. Yes. Look at the engraving. Forever faithful, forever yours. Oh. Written in happier times. Where did you find it? Just know that she will not return. Oh. It's better this way. Our marriage has been in shambles for more than a decade. I'll send the ring to her family. With luck, it will appease them. Thank you for all your help, Seraph. Make her watch over them. Bodan Fedic, purveyor of goods both common and rare, at your service. And this is my son, Sandal, who is as brilliant an enchanter as you'll ever find. Say hello to the nice human, Sandal. Hello. We shall be accompanying your expedition and providing the needed supplies. It's all quite exciting, isn't it? You aren't worried about venturing into such a dangerous place? Not with such fine protection. <laughs> but I digress. Do you wish to peruse my wares, or perhaps make use of Sandal's unique talents? Enchantment? Just so. You two don't seem the sort to hire onto this expedition. My son and I have never played it safe. Never kept to the tried and true roads. In fact, we have just returned from adventures while accompanying the hero of Ferelden, legendary Grey Warden and Vanquisher of the Blight. So you helped to defeat the Blight? In our small way, perhaps. 
We did not fight at the Grey Warden's side, of course. The hero of Ferelden is a fine woman. After all her accomplishments, may she find even greater success. Ah, but surely my past is hardly of interest to the likes of you. I don't need anything right now. I look forward to our voyage together. Please, can you help me? My brother. What happened to your brother? Karen was always so devout, so idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the Order, but he wouldn't listen. You hear dark rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. What have you heard about the Templars? People harboring escaped mages just disappear. Templars interrogate and threaten passers-by. My friend has a cousin who's a mage, and she says he was made tranquil against his will. You hear more with every passing day. I'm here to help you. Just tell me what you know. Karen would write me every day. Then suddenly, no more letters. I wrote him many times with no response. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. Your brother may indeed be in trouble. What can I do for you? Perchance. In your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmard and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. May her bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. You there, Ferelden. I wish to speak with you. You've gained quite a reputation with the Red Iron Mercenary Band. I find myself in need of someone with your special talents. Is there something I can help with? I am a magistrate in this city, and as such, I wish to hire you for a small, albeit important job. A man I sentenced to a life in prison has escaped custody. He's been tracked to an abandoned ruin outside the city. I'd like you to retrieve the fugitive and hand him over to the guard. Why is there such a clamor to catch this man? What has he done? He's escaped. That's reason enough to catch him. Is there anything else I need to know? There is something, yes. There are creatures in the ruins. The guards I sent are ill-equipped to deal with such beasts. I'll take the job. Bring the fugitive in alive, quickly and quietly. Not only will you be well paid, you'll have the gratitude of a city magistrate. Useful for a refugee, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> <laughs>